The complete smart room system installation includes the installation of hardware components and the configuration of software components. This video will cover the installation of the hardware components. Each model of smart room system from Microsoft Link contains multiple components which ship in multiple boxes and may ship on more than one pallet. This is the box where you will find the system specific installation instructions. The Quick Start Hardware Installation Guide will help you navigate the boxes. The system installation will require the use of common installation tools, and also some less common tools as illustrated in the Quick Start Installation Guide. Smart also provides a complete tool list, the link available in the online setup guide and seen here on this video. Based on the suggested measurements available in the installation guide, measure and mark your installation center line. Once that is complete, measure and mark your display panel and speaker mounting center lines and heights. Install the wall mounts using the appropriate hardware for your wall type. Wall mounting hardware is included with the wall mount, and the accompanying documentation illustrates which hardware to use for different types of wall construction. Make sure to level your wall stand before you secure it to the wall. If you have purchased the optional wall stand kit, it will include additional mounting hardware appropriate for use with hollow wall types. Smart wall stand kit is added to the wall mount. Pay attention to the up indicator when assembling. Be sure to assemble it with the top of the wall mount, positioned at the wall stand height marking, which is indicated in the installation guide for your specific system model. The position of the lower bars on the wall mount is not specific. Place them where you desire, making sure to avoid interference with any electrical outlets or other obstructions on the wall. If your model of smart room system includes two large display panels, also install the mounting system for the second panel. The accessory kit box includes a variety of mounting hardware appropriate for the lighter accessory components, and a document illustrating which hardware to use in different types of wall constructions. Prepare the MIX 500 audio processor, the power supply mounting brackets, and the mounting hardware. Measure and mark the locations where these accessories will be installed, using the measurements indicated in the installation guide for your specific system model. Install them as illustrated in the installation document. Prepare the AM70L computing appliance, its enclosure, and the enclosure's mounting brackets as documented, and install this assembly against the right edge of the display's wall mount. Measure, mark, and install the provided cable management anchors at the locations documented in the installation guide for a specific system model. It is important to install these at the correct location to avoid mechanical interference which could result in damage to the cables. Prepare the component power supplies and some zip ties. Secure the three smaller power supplies vertically on the leftmost power supply mounting bracket. Make sure the cables hang freely outside the left edge of the display's wall mount. Install the larger power supply horizontally on the rightmost power supply mounting bracket and plug it into the computing appliance enclosure. Connect one power cable to the MIX 500 audio processor. Install a power strip where convenient and connect the mains power cable to the power adapters from the power strip. Ensure that the power strip is turned off before connecting it to the wall outlet. Also, take care to route cables away from the center of the system area to avoid mechanical interference which could result in damage to the cables and potential safety hazard. 
Prepare all system component cables which will be connected to the AM70L computing appliance and connect them from the AM70L computing appliance. Make sure to leave some slack in these cables for ease of service. It is important to keep all cables tidy, especially those which will eventually route to the meeting room table, so they do not become a hazard when mounting the large display panel. Now, unbox the large interactive display panel. If the box has any labels indicating that there may be additional parts inside, open the labeled flap in the packaging and remove the additional parts first. Also, remove any parts box from the bottom of the packaging before removing the display panel from the packaging. Prepare the panel mounting hardware. Note that the panel mounting hardware comes with mounting bolts of a length appropriate for the G4 display models. For the G5 display models, shorter mounting bolts are provided in the system's accessory box. Be sure to use the correct length panel mounting bolts as indicated in the installation guide for your specific system model. Attach the mounting bracket to the back of the interactive display panel using the mounting hole number documented in the installation guide for your specific system model. The providing mounting bolts require the use of a number 4 Phillips screwdriver. You can use a Phillips number 3, but do not use a Phillips number 2 screwdriver or you may strip the head of the mounting bolts. Also, make sure that the direction of the green kickstand and locking tabs match the directions illustrated in the installation guide for your specific system model. Attach each of the large displays panel's HDMI video and USB data cables to the AM70L's computing appliance and prepare each display panel's power cable. Ensure that each cable has plenty of slack to prevent accidental disconnection and to simplify service access later, and secure all cables. Confirm that there are no obstructions or hazards, ensuring that the green locking tabs are in the unlocked position, and then hang the display panel on the panel mounting bracket. If installing a dual panel system, slide the leftmost panel as far as possible leftwards to allow as much clearance as possible before hanging the rightmost display. Connect the HDMI video and USB data cables to each large interactive display panel. Connect the power cables to each large interactive display panel and turn on the display panel's main power switch. Smart's panel mounting system includes a kickstand feature which allows the large display panels to tilt slightly. Use this kickstand to allow more physical space to access cables and components during installation and service. If used, be sure to return the panel kickstand to the normal product use position before aligning and leveling the large interactive display panels. While the displays are separate, apply power to each display and access each display settings menu and select the link room reset function to configure the display settings. If installing a dual panel system, slide both of the large interactive display panels together aligned with the system center line. Check each display panel for level. The display mounts ship at the lowest position, so determine which side of each display may need to be raised. Using a long 5mm hex driver, adjust the mounting bracket heights behind each panel as needed to level the displays. Turning these adjustments counterclockwise will lift that side of the display panel. Now, unbox the speaker kit and install the speaker mounting brackets on the wall. Make sure the dual holes are at the top and the single hole is at the bottom. Hang the speaker wire across the back of the system, avoiding any obstructions or hazards. Hang each speaker on its mounting bracket. For the rightmost speaker, only one cable is connected. For the leftmost speaker, three cables are connected, including the power cable. Note that the dual RCA audio cable ships in the audio kit box, not in the speaker kit box. Ensure that each cable has plenty of slack to prevent accidental disconnection and to simplify service access later. 
Connect the dual RCA audio cable to the speaker out ports on the Mix 500 audio processor. If any cables have not yet been connected to the AM70L computing appliance, be sure to connect them now. If the system uses a G5 series display model, remove the camera's mounting screws. It is only used on G4 series display models. For systems which use a G5 series display model, dual lock adhesive strips are used to mount the camera to the top of the displays. The camera's rubber bottom can be removed to allow the adhesive portion of the dual lock fastener to adhere to the camera better. Note that two types of dual lock fasteners are used together for optimal holding strength, and they come shipped already attached to each other. In this video, the two different types of dual lock fasteners can be seen to have different surface patterns. Adhere the paired dual lock fasteners to the camera near each corner. To simplify product service later, it is recommended that both sides be adhered such that the dual lock fastener surface orientations are aligned the same way. Connect the power and USB data cable to the camera and adhere to the top of the display panels in the center of the system. When pressing down, only press on the outer edges of the camera, not on the camera's metallic grill. Once positioned, do not try to move or remove this camera for at least an hour after this to allow time for the adhesive on the dual lock fasteners to take hold. Make sure the camera's cables are out of sight and to not obstruct access to the power buttons on the top of the computing appliance enclosure behind the display panel. Once the wall side of the system has been installed, we can begin to install the meeting room table portion of the system. If the optional cable management raceway has been purchased, unpack it now. Make sure to remove all parts from the packaging. Install the optional cable management raceway per its included installation instructions, leaving room for cable bends beyond the edge of the raceway at the wall. Place all system cables which are destined for the meeting room table into the cable slots in the cable management raceway and attach the raceway cover. When properly installed, the cables will slide freely within the length of the cable management raceway. Attach the cable management raceway's end cover before positioning the meeting room table to align with this end of the cable management raceway. Prepare the components which will be installed on or under the meeting room table. Either use an existing cable management opening in the meeting room table or drill a 3 and 1 8 hole commonly used for recessed lighting at an appropriate location in the meeting room table and install the provided aluminum grommet. These are the components we will be installing at the meeting room table. Make sure any screws used are not longer than the thickness of the meeting room table. Install the provided power supply holding basket where desired under the meeting room table. Route the system's console power, USB, and HDMI video cables from the underside of the meeting room table to the top of the meeting room table routing them through the provided wire loom. These cables may be labeled with a gray sticker. Cables labeled with an orange sticker are not for use with the console. Prepare the meeting room console, protecting its face from scratches or other damage. And feed the cables through the stand before plugging them into the console.
Also, attach the cable management components and ties to the stand before connecting the cables to the console. Once the cables are connected to the console, secure the stand to the console and secure the cable and wire loom to the stand, making sure to leave enough slack in the cables to prevent the cables from accidentally becoming unplugged from the console. Secure the other end of the wire loom with cable ties, leaving serviceable access to the location where the USB cable connects to the USB extender coming from the rest of the system. Route the microphone cable and the guest computer VGA and HDMI paired video cable from the underside of the meeting room table to the top of the meeting room table. The guest computer VGA and HDMI paired cable should be labeled with an orange sticker. Plug in the table microphone and position where desired on the meeting room table. If the USB bridge cable has been included with a specific system model, also route the guest computer's USB data cable between the top and underside of the meeting room table and connect it to the USB bridge under the table. With all cables and components in their desired location on the meeting room table, attach the grommet cover if used. Secure the console power supply into the provided wire basket using nylon ties and use the provided Velcro straps to help manage cables beneath the meeting room table. Be sure to leave a slack loop to allow cables to be moved through the table grommet as needed during the normal system use. Also, be sure to connect the guest computer's HDMI and VGA cables and the guest computer's USB cable to their extensions under the meeting room table. You can also use nylon ties where needed to keep the installation tidy. And don't forget to provide power to the console's power adapter. During the out-of-box software setup process and during any future service needs, it may be desirable to temporarily connect a USB keyboard and mouse to the system. Under the meeting room table, make sure that the console's USB touch system extension cable is accessible. It can be temporarily disconnected and used to temporarily connect a USB keyboard and mouse when needed without disturbing the rest of the system. If using the optional wall stand, install the aesthetic cover to provide a clean looking finish to the system installation. Note that the system will ship with more covers than you will actually need because a wide variety of systems and installation variations can use this optional wall stand kit. Use only the covers needed for your specific system model. Place the interactive display panel's pens in their magnetic holders. This concludes the physical installation. Now continue with the software out-of-box setup and configuration, and the calibration of the display's interactive touch system. These are covered in the following video.